gh.tv. Hello lovely viewers, the name is Solo One and you're welcome to GH Dog TV, your number one dog TV show for all dog lovers. Kindly note that if this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel, Amazing Dog Content. This is a channel for dog lovers. So if you're a dog lover, you just subscribe to the channel. And even if you're not a dog lover, I can bet you that after watching just one video on this channel, you would develop some kind of massive love for dogs so today on the show we are visiting a kennel the name of this kennel is the asante's kennel this kennel can be located at abrepo in kumasi and uh, that's close to the kumasi girl senior high school that's where we are coming today and so i'll be having uh, an interview i'll be interacting with the ceo of the asante's kennel we'll be having a very wonderful conversation and also we'll be checking out some of the dogs available available at his kennel so stay tuned don't go anywhere as we tour the asante's kennel and kindly note that this show is proudly brought to you by gh dog blogger you can follow us on our social media handles on facebook at gh dog blogger and instagram at gh dog blogger my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger Hello lovely viewers, welcome back to the show. On my left hand side here is the CEO of the Asante's Kennel. So we are going to start to get interactive with him. Hello boss, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Well, it's a pleasure to also be having the show. Okay, that's great. Um, so from your name, the Asante's, the Asante's, is it your real name or it's a made up name or a nickname? No, it's my real name. It's a brand name, of course. It's a family name. The Asante, my name is Kobna Asante, and I, I was thinking of a brand, a brand, so that's why I chose the Asante. So it works with all my companies. I mean, I, I have the Asante Micro Credit, the Asante Transport, and the Asante Kennel, which is in Ghana, and we have partners in Germany. With Alexander, Alexander Iskovich, he's in Germany. Steelers Nightmare, that's the, the brand name for him. He's also Steelers Nightmare. Okay, so if I am getting it well, you are not just a dog breeder, but you have other, other, um, how do I put it? You have um, other businesses aside it, all under the Asante's company. Yes, yes, exactly. Exactly what you are saying. Wow, interesting. Okay, so Kwabna Asante, um, for our lovely viewers, um, some of our people who do not know you, I'd like you to make a formal introduction to them, a little bit of your background, um, where you're from, maybe your education background. If you don't mind, you just share it with our lovely viewers and then we get to the business. Okay, that's okay. My name is Kwabna Asante. <coughs> um, I for, I'm from Kokofu, Asante region. That's the quietest street. I'm also... I, I, I have my master's in marketing. I work with Osun's chemist. My master's, I, I got it from KNUSD. I also have my first degree at Gempa. And also I did, I went to Sunyano Polytechnic for my HND. So that's my educational background. I'm looking up to um, do um, chartering in marketing in Ghana. That's my next point of action. So from there, um, you know, as a dog breeder, as a dog lover, you, you don't stop there. I mean, the dogs always push you to go far and more i mean I, I started being a dog lover at the age of like four when my daddy had asian dogs where he had um rottweilers he had german shepherd so at that tender age i used to play with the dogs and i was like ah, is this a passion or is this something um i, I would do in future and here am i uh, so it means that i've been a dog lover from five years up to this stage so you can just imagine how long i have loved dogs so if i'm getting it well it seems you were exposed to dogs at a very tender age and so that's how 
become a dog lover okay so being a dog lover at five years at a very tender age of five years growing up how did this whole idea of becoming a dog breeder set in because probably somebody might be a dog lover but won't be a breeder so how did that come in and from what you said earlier you were talking about um, having um, your masters in marketing i also heard of um, you working with a chemist um, and chemist. chemist and all of that so how did this whole dog breeding because all of these things seem to be a bit a distant bit from <laughs> yeah so how how did it starts once a dog lover always a dog lover even if i don't have a dog i am still a dog lover and i can never do a part a dog lover you know um i think uh, it's about seven to eight years ago when i fully um started breeding dogs for myself eight to seven to eight years wow yes, seven wow. to eight years when i started with my first dog that i bought myself so that one i bought it i bought it in ghana from my friend Kenya's Glory, he's also a breeder. So, which breed was that dog? It was a bull mastiff. It was a bull mastiff, a, a female. The name of that female was Beauty. Beauty, very very nice dog. I, I could see the dog was very beautiful. It was very beautiful and in, incredible. And I bought I bought my second dog in Ghana as well from the same breeder, Kenya. He's been a very good friend of mine. And as a breeder, you should have good breeders around you. Seriously, if you don't have good breeders around you, when you when you come into the breeding system and you don't have good breeders around you, you're you are not going to feel the breeding. I mean, it's it's a learning process. It's a knowledge acquisition process. So if you don't get somebody you acquire knowledge from and you think that um hey I, I'm I'm a breeder, I have dogs, so I know everything. No one is a repertoire of knowledge. I mean you cannot have every knowledge exposed to yourself. As you are breeding you get the knowledge, you get the experience but you need to learn from others too as well sometimes we call them hey my dog i've seen this particular thing on the dog he might have had that same problem so he knows how to fight it unlike you trying to explore and then calling veterinary doctors i have doctor friends who i call like oliver i have uh, patrick they are all doctors certified veterinary doctors who come to my kennel periodically to help me examine my dogs and also take care of them okay interested um so if you're watching and say you're an upcoming dog breeder or you're aspiring to become a dog breeder then i think you should kindly pay attention you, you should be very attentive because he's sure giving us some serious tips over here so um you were talking about your first dog being a bull mastiff a second one being a bull mastiff what about the other ones you also bought were they all bull mastiff or is it something with bull mastiffs that you love because i've seen some bull mastiffs around what is it with bull mastiffs that um, you love i think um that's a very good question uh so look, i think that first bull mastiff eh, they were created as guardian dogs i mean and who doesn't love a guardian dog um i think basically in ghana bull mastiff is one of the most common dogs in ghana and kumasi has the best of bull mastiff that one uh, the Accra people can argue i don't i don't mind uh, I do not have a problem. I would definitely make a research on that. <laughs> <laughs> you would have to. And you come and confirm to me that, hey, Asad, you told me the, the, the truth. Kumasi has the best of bull mastiffs. And also, um, I mean, when I, I have, I, I've, I've bred um, American bull. I have bred Caucasian shepherds. I've imported from Nigeria and sold to a lot of people. I have clients all over Ghana. I have clients in Tanzania. I have clients in nigeria i have clients in togo lumi i mean we're doing good business so i think it basically it's okay i love bull mastiff because they are friendly you see when you go here you, you could see that the boabu is a bit aggressive than the bull mastiff the bull mastiff is um welcoming the bull mastiff would want to even come to you even if he doesn't know you i mean he doesn't have to know you before he plays with you but the boabu you have to get closer 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 before it gets to acquaint with you because you might have you might first have a bite from a boabu before it becomes a friend <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the signature <laughs> yes. of it yes. um, as you were talking you were talking about having clients from different different countries and all of that and there's something that's boggling my mind something running through my mind right now i want to ask you how are you able to manage your other businesses 
with a dog breed it is something i'm actually thinking about right now because i know breeding dogs is quite time consuming if that's how i should put. it takes a lot of time with the grooming and all of that so how are you able to check on these things and manage your time and all of that um well you can see that breeding is passion it's passion oriented seriously as aside all my jobs that i think i have my certificate asked me to do you see it's breeding i do not have certificate for breeding but it's a passion oriented job so once you have the passion no matter what you do you can still breed once you have the passion no matter what no breeding is a full-time job seriously because you see morning like this we walk them we take them to over one to two kilometers then we come back home we we clean them we give we feed them before i set off to go to work and that alone is like an hour or two business so you have to be up by seven to start with the dogs by six six thirty you are done with them then you can move out to work i mean family too is there you have to come and take care of family you have to take care of the other businesses you're having because my wife is also managing the other businesses so that i can also have full concentration on the dogs wow he he has to check all of these to have full concentration on the dogs if this is your first time of watching a video on this channel or you just tuned in you are on gh dog tv your number one dog tv show for all dog lovers and as i said earlier on this is a channel for dog lovers even if you're not a dog lover subscribe to the channel and after watching just one video on our channel i can bet you that you're going to turn out to be a dog lover so right with me here is the ceo of the asante's kennel his name is kwabna asante we are still having the conversation and very soon he'll introduce the dogs to us so um mr asante um, what's the highest price if you can disclose the highest price you have bought a dog for I know that's a, that's a tough question, but then I don't know if you're going to answer that. But then, because I know they they can they can really cost. They are costly. Sometimes, uh, uh, these things we do not seriously. No breeder would want to easily let it out because others might think you are crazy. Uh, sometimes, even our relatives, some some of them see the dogs and they are like, "You are crazy. Why would you invest such much into a dog? I mean, if you want to import a dog, a good dog." like the head of states like the icons like the um to show like the like good dogs you can have in kumasi if 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 you want to import such a dog i mean it will cost you not less than 20 to thirty thousand ghana cities plus transport plus veterinary charges at the airport and all that but in ghana i think you can buy a dog for like a puppy for like four five thousand pure breed and some could even go like six thousand and if you are doing with the crossbreed that is a quite a different level but if you want a pure breed bull mastiff you should be having around four to five thousand to buy a puppy of a pure breed bull mastiff a puppy of this meal you, you should be having around four to five thousand to buy a puppy and if i'm selling this meal it's not going to be anything less fifteen thousand ghana cities yes and are you are you willing to sell not at all not at all not at all i'm not willing to sell this meal is going to be forever in my home so six to seven eight years it's going to spend on earth that just reminds me before coming here to have this exclusive interview with you i was going through your social media pages and i think i saw one which it's it looked like you had won an award at a dog show i don't know if you've seen that image oh, yes yes i have yes i have i have it is an asante dog show that was held in at Ahonjo. It was held by all breeders of Ashanti, like the Ashanti region. And we all presented with our dogs. So I think um, we had judges all over the world coming to judge the show. And so my dog came second to the, like the second best bull mastiff in Ashanti region. I mean, so that's also a plus for me. Head of state became, came second. And also um, we've gone to Accra novelty shows that is just for awarding and appraising the dogs so we went there and, and we, we we have pictures on the social media um we we caught attention of a lot of dog lovers and breeders so we we mostly go to Accra to do crossings we do crossings in kumasi those shows exposes the dogs to other dog breeders so that they can come to cross their dog with you and that's part of the business if you have a male 
and doesn't do crossing, I mean, it becomes a dormant meal. So the shows are very good. I mean, it exposes the dogs to others to come to you. I think so. Basically, we've won two awards and to our chest, we, we can say we are doing something. Kudos, kudos, kudos. Congratulations. I know it's passed, but I am now dropping my congratulations. Okay, Mr. Santi, so we'll be wrapping up soon. Um, so I'd like to ask these questions. Um, as a dog breeder, what are some of the challenges you faced? I've heard people say at a point in time, they felt like giving up. I've met people who started this business, but they are no longer into it. They are no more into this business. So I'd like to ask you, what are some of the challenges you have faced and what has made you like thrive and move on to consistently do this thing for close to eight years and still counting i mean i can say that things are expensive in ghana i mean for me financially you can say it's a res it's restraining some of the dog lovers because he, he, if the feed is very expensive like a friend of mine a very good friend of my ammonia who is also a dog breeder Kenya, um, you know, you can name them, uh, Norman, you can, you can name them Fred, Humble, I mean, Ghana Dog, I mean, we have a lot of friends, so, but if you, you can boldly say that food feeds are expensive, I mean, you, you buy a bag of chip for over 250, 300 cities, 350 for a dog, and it's like a week, the feed is done, so, I mean, if you have like 10 dogs, and you are buying 10 bags for a month, which is around 333,000 Ghana cities for a month. How are you going to survive? So it's it's basically one of a challenge for financially because things are expensive in Ghana. I mean, we, we import those feeds. They are not made in Ghana. There's only one feed. I think most of the time they, they help make them in Ghana and that is Happy Home. I mean, I buy the, that feed too. And I also buy Kaiser. I buy a lot of feed, a lot of feed that you don't want to do adverts for the, somebody's feed. I mean, but a good friend Ammonia and a good friend Kofi, who is a who is a guard dog breeder, is also a veterinary doctor in the making. I mean, they also help. I mean, they 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 come to some of our aids and they help us get most of the feeds. We also buy Gary. I mean, you you mix them with rice. And for me, my dogs, I do not give them any preservative because it, it takes their, their, their way of smell away from them so i keep them fresh all the time i buy chicken you see a, ba a bag of chicken a box of chicken is around 100 cities um, that's the cheap one but if you want to buy um the thai it's, it's expensive i mean and feeds you give it to them raw an egg i mean you see getting to feed a dog to get all vitamins becomes very expensive because you have to buy vitamins which is expensive too and you'll be giving to the dogs on daily basis deworming the dogs batting them giving them proper feed and sometimes even caring giving them multivitamins and all that making the veterinary doctors come to you and do, do they are expensive oliver will give you a very good job but very expensive very very expensive i mean so it's basically a challenge for me financially things are expensive if things could come down i mean breeding will be something everybody seriously you have to get a dog at home it's it's something you cannot do away with because sometimes we the dogs do protect us i mean aside the financial bed the burdens they take away from us they they protect us very well in this neighborhood nobody can come to this house i mean this place is safer than bank of ghana yes yeah, security wise I mean, well, how will you come? Sometimes I don't even lock my car. My wife doesn't lock his, her car. You, you come here and, and, and they'll bite you. I mean, I release about four dogs in the night. So how can you come? You can't even step here to steal. So criminals out there, watch out. You can't come to that Santis home. 
<laughs> this interview is getting really really interesting uh, he's still on the show yeah there's an up close with mr asante the ceo of the asante schedule we'll be wrapping our interview soon but then this is the point where we get to see his dogs and he introduces them with their names and all of that but kindly note that if this is your first time of watching a video on this channel you subscribe to the channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon to always be updated for amazing dog content so in case your friend has not heard of gh dog tv tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to subscribe to gh dog tv okay so mr sante this is the point where we get to see the dogs you introduce them to us and all of that i i, I love i personally love this dog yeah 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 i personally love this dog i think today i, w I would dream of having this dog <laughs> i love him so much you can have it anyway i mean we, we, we are we are family so i mean when your female comes on heat your bitch comes on heat this dog is always available to give you a gene of its kind <laughs> okay okay great so um mr santi how many dogs do you have in general um currently i have nine dogs i have nine dogs and um because of my busy schedule and my tight moving around the um, wednesdays i'm in sunyane thursdays i'm in Accra. i come back on sundays and because of that i have left only meals here in my kennel i have for now i have four meals in my kennel and i have five females that i've given to pan i'm partnering with other breeders to keep them because of my schedule if the bitches come on heat maybe i'm not i wouldn't be around to see so i have friends like courage a very good friend who is keeping some of the females uh richmond badla is also keeping a female i mean we we have some of the good friends who are helping the breeding grounds they are also dog lovers and dog breeders so they keep the females and when they come on heat we meet them and then we do business okay so what's the name of this beautiful dog here my my personal favorite his name is genesis as a christian uh, I name my dogs to suit my religion. And Genesis is the beginning. So I decided to name him the beginning of a new phase of Bowmaster. So his name is Genesis. I mean, that's the, the reason for the name. I mean, Genesis. So the Genesis is almost two years. Very young and then very energetic. You can see from the walk that we went to this time, it is still up and going. So Genesis, that's his name. A purebred bull mastiff. Um, Dukes Argentine of Serbia is the father. A champion, a multinational champion, is the father of this bull mastiff. The mother to his stillest nightmare, Lara, which I imported from Germany to come to Ghana to litter this male. So I sold the mother to the mother to his sold to a very good friend. <laughs> that's great what about this dog um this two is shaggy shaggy i i before i used to like the guy shaggy so i mean i wanted to name my dog after him so this is shaggy it's also three years old and his father is gaba you know gaba is one of the males that are we adore ashanti breeders we adore gaba i mean who doesn't like gaba gaba has been a male that has produced nationwide and so every old breeder has a son or daughter of gaba so that's shaggy from gaba's kennel uh, ahen toro that's his name he's also a dog breeder and an old dog lover so shout out to toro too as well okay, so shaggy is a boa boa yes shaggy is a boa boa yes okay from the look of things can i conclude that bull mastiffs are your number one and number two as a boa boa oh yes number two is a boa boa for security i mean boa boa is it's a it's a very good dog for security so if you keep them i mean your house is secured i know i know a, a lot of people will argue but i mean in our system boa boa is it, it does a lot in terms of security when i open this mail you can't come in <laughs> you need my permission before you can come in <laughs> Okay, Mr. Santi, and what about this one too? What's his name? His name is Roma. 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 Yes. Roma is a very loving bow mastiff from Tibon. Tibon's gene. 
we, we have a very good a bull mastiff that left his name is t-bone so t-bone gave birth to this male um a good friend of mine from mampo his name is kofi um i picked roma from kofi so shout out to kofi too as well uh, roma is a, is a loving male roma the name of the name of this dog was given to um him by kofi so actually roma i i, I inquired why roma and said he loved the name roma so that's why he gave roma to this dog it's, it's quite aggressive i mean you can see from him uh, it's quite aggressive so i love him for his aggressiveness yes okay dog lovers so i'm still here with mr asante the ceo of the asante schedule and we are ending our interview soon so mr asante your last words to viewers and say upcoming breeders who are also or seeing some people who are also watching us right now but they are aspiring to become dog breeders your last words in general and maybe a little advice to them um i think uh, breeding is a very good thing it's a very good passion so if you want to do a breed um check the kind of breed you like i mean you don't have to do all kinds of breeds you, you have to research into the kind of breed you want to go into before you even start and you start small then you get big i mean you don't have to get an older dog to start breeding you can buy a puppy and you start getting to know because when you when you have a puppy you get to know the breed very well so i would advise people start with puppies and then they grow to know them you, you get the kind of breed you know you like i mean you should love your breed you don't have to breed only for money but you have to breed for love i mean if you love your dog so much so well it will reciprocate the love you have for it so i think my only advice is to breed the kind of breed you like and to start with the puppy I mean, okay so, so mr asante just in case somebody wants to link up with you maybe get a dog a bull mastiff or anything i'd like you to drop your contact and also your social media handles for them as well okay you can you can follow me on instagram the asante's kennel you can follow me on snapchat the asante's dog you can follow me on facebook the asante's kennel you can follow me on twitter the asante's kennel almost every social media handle i am is the asante's kennel so and my number is 505 you can link up for crossing you can link up for puppies you can link up for adults any kind of breed we do import as well so you can link up if you want me to import for you thank you okay lovely viewers that's our exclusive interview with the ceo of the asante's kennel mr asante i hope you really enjoyed today's edition on gh dog tv and just as i always say if this is your first time of watching a video on this channel kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell to always be updated for amazing dog content exclusive dog content this channel is a channel for dog lovers so that's what we have for you today on gh dog tv thank you so much for watching us my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger until another time